Energy Technology Science, Climate Change and Environment Minister Yo Bi Yin said today that an illegal factory owner involved in recycling tyres in Kulai is expected to be charged tomorrow in connection with the chemical dumping. She said the suspect faces a maximum imprisonment of five years and a fine of 500,000 ringgit upon conviction. Yeo said she had been in contact with Attorney General Tommy Thomas on the possibility of bringing multiple charges against the suspect due to the serious nature of the offence and inadequacy of the penalty. Untuk penyiasatan dan tiga orang suspek ya dari Taya dan juga dari industri lain telah pun ditahan dan dan disiasat di oleh Jabatan Alam Sekitar Pirolisis Taya itu dan hari ini kita telah siap Ya, kita telah siap uh, kertas siasatan dan kertas siasatan ini telah dihantar pagi ini tadi. Tadi kena hantar pagi ini kepada pejabat timbalan pedakwa rakyat iaitu prosecutor ya, prosecutor office untuk penelitian dan juga pertimbangan dan seterusnya mendapatkan izin untuk mendakwa. In the meantime, Yeo said the department will be installing gas detection monitors around Pasir Gudang at different altitudes to check on the air quality in the area. So far, the DOE has identified at least eight chemicals based on its sampling of the river, but that the department will continue to investigate as there are other possible unknown chemical compounds. Yeo also said the important thing now is to carry out a cleanup operation of the polluted river.